Hey, what's up guys? Fish Tank Mike here. Today we're talking about the moss ball situation again. If you don't know what I'm talking about, made a video, I'll put a link for it in the description as well as the article that we're going to be referencing today so you can check it out yourself if you want to. Um, I always knew that we are going to be making a follow-up video to this, I just didn't know when, and I was actually supposed to be in communication with somebody uh, that works for my state that knows a lot more about this, and I was waiting for that conversation to happen, but it unfortunately did not. But, luckily, I refreshed this page and found the guidance that I was basically looking for. So, we're going to go over that today. It's a really good thing if you're somebody that has a big expensive tank that had moss balls in it. Hopefully, you didn't destroy everything in your tank because we have some new guidance that is really good if that's your situation. So, let's take a look here. This is the main article. This is from the Fish and Wildlife Service, the United States official. This is legit. Okay. Destroy, don't dump. We know this. If you have moss balls or you see moss balls in your tank that have zebra mussels on them, then you do want to follow these guidelines and you want to follow them to a T. Destroy your moss balls, throw them in the trash, obviously, to get rid of them. Um, but my biggest question was, what do you do with your tank, right? And in the in the video that I made originally, I was saying, hey, if I'm draining from a tank that had moss balls in them and I'm just draining into my backyard where that water does not enter the sewer, it obviously accumulates in, in groundwater. There's no way the mussels can survive that and then end up somewhere where they shouldn't be. But it wasn't super clear on what to do. What they originally said was that if you see zebra mussels in and around your moss balls or in your tank, then you need to go through this procedure, which is basically a bleach disinfection method, okay? Make a disinfection solution using one third cup of bleach per gallon of water, soak the aquarium, substrate rocks, decor, and filter media in that bleach solution for 10 minutes. Rinse all the items off, dispose of that water through the drain, okay? And that's a big deal if you have a big, fancy, elaborate aquarium that has a lot of money tied into it, right? We obviously, you know, we care about the environment, we want to do the right thing, but I know that there's a lot of people that are going to read that and just be like, there's no way, I'm destroying everything that I've worked really hard for and put a lot of money into. So, what it says here, if you're somebody that had moss balls in your tank, maybe you took them out and you got rid of them just because it seemed right to you, that's totally fine. But what about your tank? So, it says here, Decontamination using the steps above is highly recommended and, uh, eh, can I read? Highly recommended and essential if muscles are observed. However, it is understood that many aquarists make significant investments in establishing and maintaining their aquarium and that disinfecting and reestablishing a system in which muscles have not been observed may not be ideal. Okay, so that's, again, that was my whole thing. Um, as an alternative to decontamination or that bleaching process or the salt water or the hot water method up here, right, that would basically involve destroying all of your stuff, it says, as an alternative to decontamination and consistent with steps necessary to prevent the release of zebra mussels, aquarists may follow a quarantine method. Okay, this is good news. Please refer to the link below. So we go and we click that. Let me switch over to a tab here. It's a PDF. And I'll also try and have this link down there as well so you don't have to even find it. You can just have a direct link. So here it says zebra mussels have been detected. Yada, yada, yada. Gives you some more background. Uh, it's going to say, you know, do these steps. If you do see the zebra mussels, if you don't, here we go. Here is their recommendation. So the aquarium should be closely inspected once a week for mussels for at least six months. Okay, if the mussels are found, follow the decontamination steps above. So if you ultimately see the mussels in your tank over that six month period that you had the moss balls in, then go through those steps of basically destroying your tank, which would be really bad. So cross your fingers, hope you don't see anything. Two, step two, during the quarantine period, take the following precautions, okay? This is where it gets a little weird and I'm not sure if this is something that you 100% need to follow, but let's read it here. It says, any live plants removed from the aquarium should be placed in a sealed plastic bag, frozen for at least 24 hours and disposed of in the trash. So it's saying that you should basically kill and get rid of all of your live plants, which I mean, for us, for planted aquarium people, that could be the bulk 
of the money in your tank, right? So I, I'm on the fence with that one. I could use some more clarification as to why you would need to do that, even if you don't see any zebra mussels. So I would, what I'm gonna do with my tank that uh, we had the moss balls in, we haven't seen zebra mussels, we're doing the monitoring. I'm not getting rid of the plants or, or doing anything. I think that's in an attempt to kind of free up space and create less of an area for the for the zebra mussels to inhabit. But in, in my mind, in the research that I've done, is that they're probably gonna be in, in substrate, most likely. So let's read the next part. Plants and animals from the aquarium should not be sold or traded. Uh, that's pretty straightforward. It shouldn't apply to most people. Um, unless you're trading plants, you know, don't be trading those plants. Just leave them in the tank. That's what I'm gonna do. The aquarium and any of the accessories should be decontaminated before selling or trading. Okay. Uh, three, the quarantine period ends six months after no mussels are found. So in my mind, if you go through that quarantine process where you're checking, you know, every week for the mussels, if you don't see any, you don't see any on your plants, um, then you're fine. So that is interesting. Um, that's good news, I think, for a lot of us, including myself. And I'm hoping, you know, that we get through this period, the next, you know, four or five months that we have left on it. I haven't seen any yet in that tank. Um, so I'm just being optimistic. But that's a big, a big sigh of relief, I think. Uh, hopefully, if you're in a situation like me, you haven't already taken apart your tank and destroyed and tried to clean everything. Uh, hopefully you can just go through this process and then you'll be all good in, in the end. So uh, that's pretty much it. This came out, unfortunately, on March 18th, I believe. And I didn't refresh the original page that I had on there for a super long time while I was waiting to hear back from this person. So uh, sorry that it took so long to get here. But uh, yeah, guys, that's, that's kind of where we're at. So I guess good news. And guys, I need to apologize for not having content out as regularly as usual. I kind of took the last week and a half off. I've been having some issues with my eyes and so hopefully that resolves itself and we can get back to having some more focus and, and doing some work. But I did want to let you guys know that uh, we're doing another sticker promo this weekend, obviously. So we're doing any purchase, $10 or over, you're gonna get a holographic moss ball, a holographic guppy, and a holographic placat beta, I believe. Yes, that is correct. So that'll be this weekend's promo. Three holographics, pretty sweet. Uh, check out the sticker store, link in the description. And we, you know, we had to do the moss ball sticker since we're talking about moss balls, right? So uh, yeah, I think that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Hopefully this is a good news type of thing for you. And we'll have a regular fish tank related video, not on the computer like this. Uh, the next time you see me. So hopefully that'll be out this Wednesday. Anyway, thanks again, guys, and we'll see you next time.